All right, I'm going to show you how to create your own header using a free tool called Canva. So you need to know your dimensions. Now in this case, I know the depth of the header is 280 pixels and I know that the width I want is 1920 pixels. Let's go to canva.com. It's free, but you need to sign up for an account. So once you've done that, click on create a design, custom dimensions, and here you're going to enter the width and depth in pixels. In this case, it's going to be 1920 by 280. Create new design. All right, now here's the canvas. I know it doesn't show up very well. I really wish that they would do something to make this show up a little better. But anyway, you can just about see it. Now, depending on the dimensions, if you entered a narrower width, you will probably have some templates here that you can use. But because I'm making such a wide header, there are no templates to fit my header. Now, the templates are all pre-made anyway. You might not find one you like. I've not used a template before. I've always created my own header. So what we can do is we can go to Pixabay and find some images that relate to the subject of your blog. In this case, I'm going to find a few wildlife images and download them to my device. And then I'm going to crop them and make some kind of a, a collage for the header. So let me go ahead and pause the video while I find some images and download them. All right, I've downloaded a few images and I've cropped them to be 280 high, but I don't think I've got enough. Anyway, this is how we upload images here to Canva. Just go to Uploads, click on Upload an Image, and then choose the image from your device. Okay, so these are currently uploading, and that seems to be it. And then all we need to do is drag and drop them, resize to make sure they're fitting the canvas, move them around. And I'm going to need one more for here. So I'll just pause again and go and grab another image. Okay, now I have another image in here and now I have the whole header filled up, but I'm not sure how this is going to work with the logo over here because if the logo is going to end up on top of the hedgehog's face, that's going to look a bit strange. So I might have to change that yet, but I want to show you a few tips here when you're creating a banner. You can position different images by just moving them around, but you can also send them to the back or bring them to the front. Position backwards. And now you can see. The otters in front, the owls behind. I can send the otter back now. And if I wanted to, I could move this up here. So let's say I wanted to have more images on the header, which would be probably a good idea. Instead of having just six wider images, I could have maybe nine or 10 images all in this same shape. So that would look pretty good, probably better than it looks right now. But for the time being, just to get this done, let's leave it as it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. So all we do here is download and we do not need a transparent background for the header image. We do need a transparent background when we create a logo, but we don't need it this time. I'm just going to click download. Okay, and here it is here. So now I can go ahead and upload this add new image. 
I'm going to drag and drop it here from my folder. And for the title, I'm just going to give it some kind of title. And I'm going to skip cropping. I don't want to crop it at all. Publish. Let's take a proper look at it. All right, so that is the header created in Canva. As I say, I will need to go ahead and create a logo and add it to the header. See what it looks like. If it doesn't look right, I can go back and make some edits to the header. But you see how simple that was? Now I want to show you a couple of other things here with Canva. Under Elements, you can search for pretty much anything you want here. Many of them are free and if you only want free, just click free and then do your search. You can also add text here, add a heading and we can put text on here if we want to. Now in this case, obviously I'm not putting any text on it, but I just wanted to show you the different features available. Now you need to spend a little time on this. There's a small learning curve, but you'll soon get used to it. And to be honest, I use Canva virtually every day and I don't know how I'd manage without it. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.